What's going on guys, Vic BB back with another Game Case Arcades video, part two. I'm not gonna talk too much. I hope you guys got the parts in the part one listing that I put in the description. You need your Logitech speakers, we're gonna finalize the speaker mod. I already put my buttons in from Game Room Solutions, so you should have done that. I'm not gonna show you how to wire up buttons, that's pretty basic, but right now we're gonna do the speaker mod, um, and we are going to do our TV mod. Let's go. Again, we're gonna talk behind the camera on this one. So again, game room solutions, buttons, LED buttons, 20 buttons. Right now we do have, what is that, 16? We have 16 buttons out right now. And um, the other four, keep in a bag, that's gonna be on the later on mod later. But again, put your buttons in. That should be the first thing. Before you do the speaker mod, you should put your buttons in. This way you know where your wires are. These again are LED buttons, so we do have our LED harness here. Again, I'm not gonna show you how to wire it. You should know how to wire it. There's a lot of videos on that. But we are going to do the speaker mod. Again, Z313s. We're gonna aim for one speaker here and one speaker here. Also, quick note before we start. My um, buttons are running the Zinmo. You do want to mount your Zinmo first before anything to make sure it's clearance. This right now is next to player one. This is the power button? On and off, yeah. So I put my Zinmo right there. There was already a hole here. So I was able to use the existing hole. That's my Zinmo. Right now, unboxing our speakers. The subwoofer we're gonna to put to the side. We are not gonna modify the subwoofer at all. This luckily fits inside the cabinet the way it is. So we're not gonna cut this. Our main things that we need out of this are really our speakers. That's it. Again, we could put the box to the side. Subwoofer is to the side. Be very careful. We do have some wiring that we'll deal with later. But first, we have to focus on this. For this, you really just need an impact with the Phillips head and a flathead. Again, on the speakers, there's nothing really valuable on this whole casing. Some people, you can modify the case. You could screw the case to it. It's very bulky. We don't need anything besides this little tweeter right here. Um, again, I'm doing it my way. Very simple, we're gonna take the flathead, we're gonna pop this out. Also underneath here are two of these. You have to take these off and they will reveal a screw. It's just two of them. We have to do that. So again, this is one side, doesn't matter what side it is, but it might be good to note what side it is, I guess. This is my right. This is like my right, so we're gonna keep that in mind. So basically we're gonna take our flathead right onto the silver and pop that's it there's four screws here that's the first one you got to take out a phillips head might not work nope you need a baby screwdriver for this you do need a tiny screwdriver again i found my little screwdriver it's a tiny screwdriver that will fit inside of this i already did the top two uh these screws are not salvageable we don't really need these so this is screw number three I'll give it a little they should fall out. Right here at the bottom, there's only two. There's four holes here, but you only need these two. There is only two screws here. This you could actually hit with a regular impact. Again, we got screw number one. And we got screw number two. Now we can go back to our flathead. Literally start trying to pry it open. There we go. Again, the housing, we're not salvaging. We can't use anything with the housing on this. So this you do want to be careful when you are pulling it down. You don't want to break it. You don't want to cut the wire. These are soldered in, so we are free. The last thing is to flip this over. There are two screws on this, which I could hit this with my impact. There's one, and there's two. That's it. This right here is garbage. This is our main thing. We do want to be careful. This again is my right. So black and white, you're gonna see the left is a different color. Black and white is my right. Now here's an argument that some people will say, you could try to cut this. You don't need to save the washer. There's a little washer to it, you don't need it. Some people will say, oh Vic, you could cut the housing and you wanna get a blade and you start cutting it. I have no time for that. So we are literally going to be cutting this. I'm literally gonna take this. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it this way to save time. I'm gonna cut this. This right here was going to the pack of the speakers. And now the attachment that's here, I'm not gonna pull it out because there is not enough slack to pull it out. So basically I'm gonna try to cut as close as I can on this. I'm gonna grab another cutting tool. Again, you don't wanna cut too close. I'm gonna cut literally as much as I can. Boom, there we go. So this right here, this right here, the whole thing is garbage. We don't need that. This is our main pride and joy. This is the right. Black and white, it's to the right. This is all we need. We're gonna do the same thing for the right. 
for the left for the left speaker very surprised you guys are buying z313s out of this again flathead make sure you're not pushing on the center we're going to go right to the edge and pop that's it grab our little screwdriver here very happy you guys are uh buying i heard i mean i see you guys you guys messaged me saying hey vic i bought the sound system i can't wait for part two so pretty cool you guys are following me i like it again this sound system i did on my first arcade one up mod pretty it's pretty beefy the sound on it especially with the subwoofer one and two flathead don't go too high you don't want to aim here you want to aim lower right here you just got to try to pry it top comes out boom there you go it falls out there you go now we're out again we're still connected here impact two screws here unscrew one two our left speaker does have different color wiring that is white and red same thing here going right to the edge here again you could cut this i know you can you could grab a saw and you could do all this to save from soldering but it's a pain i already did four of these i know how much of a pain it is again we're taking this going to cut as close as i can to the base so i don't there we go this right here is garbage that's it we're using the box here garbage 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 everything is garbage the only thing salvageable is our left and right so again these are magnetic so you will find sometimes your screws get connected to them now you should have also this this was the wire that was connected to them this is separate don't throw this out we need to connect this later but right now we are doing the speaker mod again this is my left white and red is left black and white was right okay now we're back to the control panel again I have my player two here, which is the right. So I'm gonna aim for the right speaker on this. I'm gonna flip it over. Luckily with the holes, you could definitely see exactly where your middle is on the speaker setup. So again, this is the right. So my right was, my right was black and white. The black and white should be here. We're gonna make brand new holes for this. Again, as you can see, I hope you can see, I'm not putting them inside a hole. I'm going right on it, adjacent on an angle. So we got that right there. Now we're gonna grab real quick our impact. And we need a regular black screw, a regular, any type of wood screw, anything that has a sharp head to it just to start it. So I got this. This right here is a very tiny wood screw. It's literally tiny, but it does have a sharp head to it. Again, we do need this just to start the hole. Okay, so what I mean by that is we are going to take our control panel, gonna put my speaker, notice my wiring, my wiring going inwards towards the controls, not outwards, I'm not going like this, or else you're gonna hit the screws, it'll squish the wire. We're going outward, inwards to the wiring, okay? And basically you just wanna to try to aim for the center. Once you have the center, you're gonna take your screw, use the holes on the speaker, and basically we're just gonna start it a little bit, only a little bit, in and then reverse, a little bit. When I tell you a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, but I just went like literally a fingernail in. Don't lose the spacing where the speaker is. Go to the opposite side. That's it. You don't wanna go all the way in. Now we have two new, two new holes that we made. One and two, we made the outline. So now before I, I, before I started this, I should have said that you should have your old control panel stuff. So we are gonna take the same exact screws from the speaker that we had before, and we are doing that. So make sure you have that. We're gonna grab that now. So I'm going with the screws that I believe were from the side casing to hold the plastic in from the RK1 up. So I'm going with these screws, not the bigger ones. These are actually the beefer ones with the actual head on it. I'm gonna use this for the joysticks. This is a very sharp head. This has a flat head, there's no tip to this. So I'm using these beefier ones for the joysticks, okay? Now, again, we put it, we line it up, and basically again, with that black screw, so we're gonna take the screw, we're gonna match up the holes, and we are going to basically go nice and easy. Right down, boom, that's it. You don't wanna go too much, you wanna go all the way down, just enough so that that speaker literally doesn't move. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. See again, this is my left. Wire is going inwards towards the control panel. As you can see, I'm in between. 
I'm gonna put a new hole here and a new hole there. That's how we use the black screws. Again, just so you could see it, that hole right there I made with a black screw. It's not as deep as the other ones. It's just to start it. This way it has enough grip to catch on. Again, I am using these screws that came with the RK one up flat top. I can't really zoom in on this, I'm sorry. But the tip is flat. There you have it. Two screws, four screws I should say, holding in the speakers. Now you could take your splicing tool and splice your wires. Well, we are doing the speaker mod, might as well do the splicing. You could solder this. It's very important to be careful when you do pull this. You don't want to pull your wiring out of the soldering from the speaker. So again, I'm going to take out this black kind of housing and keep a lot of control on my left to make sure I don't pull the wire out. I'm going to separate these. Give this a pull. I got one out. My whites are already exposed a little bit, but it doesn't hurt to give a little bit more. These wires are very skinny, so unless you have the right splicer for this, I unfortunately do not. I have like a real kit. Splicing is done. We're gonna do the other side too. Well, I said not to do it, and what did I do? I did it. I pulled too hard, and now I took out the red. So it looks like we have to solder it. This is why I normally don't do this. <laughs> I normally don't do it like this, but I have to solder it now. So they break out a soldering iron. Let's re-solder that. But also it is pretty good to solder your connection. So I was gonna solder it anyway. Um, I don't like to do wire caps. I do like to solder my stuff. So let's get the soldering iron ready. While I wait for my soldering iron to iron up, let's grab this wire that we cut out of the speakers before. We're gonna take our wires and we have to splice these open. So again, this wire is the one that has the headphone jack. This jack does go into the back of the subwoofer. So again, we have our two. These are color coordinated, so we're gonna take a big chunk out of this. My black and whites. And my red and white, same thing. Nice and easy. Gotta be gentle. As you can see, I just cut it short, but it's okay because we don't want my wires to touch. Same thing with the red. Again, these you can put wire nuts on these, so you could do that. Going back to the speaker, I have my black and white that's to the speaker. And now basically we're just gonna tie these together. Just gonna tie these together. We got black to black right here. Again, you could wire cap these. I personally like to solder it to make sure it's a solid thing. White to white. And now we're gonna open this wire up a little bit. We're gonna put our red on this side. Again, I messed up. I'm gonna take my solder. I'm gonna take the edge of this. Solder already hot. I'm gonna bring it back to here. Gotta pull a little bit. And now we are back. My red is soldered back. Gonna grab our wire nuts on this one now. You should wire nut these. Gonna take our wire nuts. Just make sure we get a good grip. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our speaker mod. Now we got two channel sound done. That's what it should look like. You got one end here, you got one end here. This now goes into your cabinet. It's gonna go into the subwoofer. Same rules for the joysticks go with the speaker. We're gonna take a black screw. We're gonna start it and then finish it off with an arcade one-up screw, okay? Let's hit this one right here. Again, we're gonna take our black screw, our little, little wood screw. We're gonna start it just a little bit. That's it, if you could see that right there, I made a hole. I just started a hole, I didn't go through all the way. Now I'm gonna take our bulky screw and now we could finish it off. The big thing is this is an impact drill, but you don't wanna go all the way in. You just wanna go right, that's it, boom, see? You don't wanna go all the way in or else you thread it. You don't want that, so this is a perfect one. We're done, joysticks are in, speaker mod is in. Again, I'm shaking this thing, speaker ain't moving. We're good right now, this is perfect. Now let's jump over real quick to our cabinet. We're modding this. 
I'm putting four player admins. Somebody did message me, Vic, do you need four player admins? Do you need those buttons? You don't, you do not need those buttons. You don't need those buttons. Me personally, I love those buttons because, you know, in reality, you could program your start and your coin to exit, but sometimes you're in a deep game of like, you know, Street Fighter and you're adding the coins or you're adding the Simpsons game and you hit it. I've seen it. I've personally done it where you hit both buttons and you're like, oh, and you exit out of the game. Me personally, I want its own designated button. Not to mention my four buttons is hotkey, load, save, and then exit. So it's four buttons. I like my four buttons. You don't have to do four buttons, but I personally like my four buttons. For this part here, I do have a T square, I guess you could call it. It does have rulers on it. First thing we're gonna do, I'm going to mark the face. This is the face of the arcade one up. So I'm gonna put my buttons here. Let's first see, this right here is seven inches tall. So half a seven, I do want a marker. I should grab a marker, but half of seven is three and a half. But just showing me what is the center point. Three and a half is the middle. Once I got that, we're gonna go right across with our T, teeing it out, boom. Okay, so now we got the T, we're up here. It's 18 inches across, center of 18 is nine, middle of nine. I have my little drawing here. Basically, each button is an inch. So I was videotaping like how to make the control panel. I wasn't talking English and I just cut it. Basically, there's a lot of measurements that you could do for the control panel. My biggest thing is that whatever you're doing, when you are gonna drill the hole for the control panel, you're gonna drill on the face. So I unfortunately did screw up a little bit on my first button, but it don't look like that. So this is gonna be the back of it, this right here right into the RK one up is gonna slide in just like that. So I do have my buttons close by. Again, I use red, white, white, green. Unfortunately, I did, like I said, I messed that up. That's what sucks about MDF, but that's also me being an idiot. I kind of messed it up, but it's a-okay. It'll still look good. If anything, I have to paint on it. But basically, I'm gonna go upwards like that. And there is our four player control there we go. With the inch and one eighth bit, it is a little bit bigger than the buttons, but this looks good. Again, we're basically gonna take this, popping that in just like that. So we did speaker mod, four player admin buttons right on the face of this. This is perfect. Let's finish up the speaker mod. We're gonna flip this around. Let's finish that. Real last piece of the puzzle to the speaker mod is to just do the subwoofer. You could test, you should test, I should say. You should test the speakers on the control panel since we did splice it, but I'm pretty sure I know my stuff. At least for me personally, I know it works. We got a subwoofer. Right here, subwoofer's right here. We're gonna have the subwoofer pointing outwards towards the cabinet. Doesn't really matter, you could have it towards it in it, but the base is on the, base, on the bottom of it. So on the last one, I did it like this and it sound pretty good. Basically, we're gonna take two black screws and we're gonna put them in here. I'm gonna take it closer. But before we do that, we're gonna put our control panel back on because we need that. Drop all of our wires in. Make sure we're not blocking anything. Make sure nothing's tight. But basically now, once you dropped it in, you should have your auxiliary wire. And I do like to be neat. So we're gonna make sure no other wires are in between it. We got auxiliary wire that goes right into the base, right into the subwoofer right here. And we are now gonna drop in our subwoofer. Clearing everything out of the way. I like it right in the middle. Doesn't make exact, but you do have your controller and all that. So we will leave that on the side, wrapped up with the plug. Real quick, I'm gonna bring you in closer. I hope you see everything. But basically now we're gonna take black screws and we're gonna drill it right into the base. Nothing too big. Not a big monstrous black screw, but just enough to secure it in. You are gonna go through the base. We are gonna go through the floor of the arcade one up, but not like touching the floor, obviously. 
Here we go. Got our screws, probably like an inch, inch and a half. Again. Just enough. Not going through the floorboard. That's it, this is it. I can literally pick this up, this isn't moving. Again, two screws right at the feet. This way for transport, this won't move. This thing, it will not move, it won't budge. So this is good, speaker mod is done. Let's do a quick boot test. Let's grab a Raspberry Pi and let's see if at least the sound boots up and the TV boots up. I kind of ghetto rigged this real quick just to knock this video out. Power strip, Raspberry Pi, RK one up, and the speakers. They all need power. We got this. I had to adjust this. Make sure your ground. You need to make sure your ground screw is all the way in. You want to make sure that ground screw is very tight on this. Let's flip the switch. And if all goes well, your arcade one up should power up. That's a good sign. This is a good sign so far. I don't have my LED strip uh, in yet, so the LEDs will be the last thing. That's more of the beauty part of it, step three. But right now, let's see if the speakers work. Yep. We're here.